This segment of Outdoors in the Heartland is brought to you by Motor Guy, Never Stop, and Strike King, number one in fishing lures. He's got it. There he is, right there. Ooh, it ain't that zero. That's calling your shot. That's that's cool. Patience, patience. You got to get it right in the middle of the bed, drop it in there. Use a little bit of a weight where you can kind of control it and kind of aggravate them a little bit. They just don't want nothing in their bed. Yeah, look at that pretty fish. That was a nice one. She has got a belly on her. I seen that when she turned her head. You know, there's only a week or two out of the entire year you can come up here and do it. And fortunately, all the stars lined up, and we're gonna let her go. She'll be right back on that bed probably within um, probably 10, 15 minutes. There you go, girl. You know what I started to say before I caught that fish? I'm throwing this wacky style, and if you've never thrown a wacky style, what you have to really watch is what kind of cover you're gonna throw it to because I'm using a four aught offset worm hook, and I'm just basically taking it right in the middle and hooking it just like you would a night crawler and that's how i'm throwing it when you pull it it goes like this and then springs back so it's just basically just like you'd put a night crawler on you throw it in there i like to use it with no weight especially on these shallow fish because you can twitch it and keep it in the same place you know sometimes when you're out hunting and fishing you see things that are unusual and luckily if you have a camera with you you catch some of these things so while we're fishing in this inlet we look up on the bank and there's a bat standing there and walking around. Kind of unusual. All right, so there's a bat standing on the bank and after catching a couple more fish, our camera guy all of a sudden tells us, hey, the bat is swimming across the cove. It's like a mouse out there going. These fish, remember I said they were biting voraciously? I wonder if he can make it across this cove without something getting him. There's a small mouth following him. There he went. Bass got him. Seeing a bat swim across the cove and get eaten by a smallmouth bass? Kinda unusual. Now it's back on. Got it. Nope. And he got it in his mouth though. Now he does. <clears throat> what you gotta watch is wait for that bait to completely disappear. That little male coming out there after. There's another one up there. Little guys, little guys, nothing, nothing, nothing of interest. Girl, we're going to let you go. You're going to swim right back there and you're going to make lots of babies for the future. I like that. Larry, there's one in the bed right there. Okay. Now, Larry has kind of switched up on colors. He's throwing on the Strike King a big tube jig. And there's a bed right there. Fish is facing right at us. So we're going to see if they like that white better than they do this short truth. Got him that time. Like that white tube, huh? Yeah. You know, yeah. sometimes that's what you got to do. You know, when you get into a fish and you throw a bait in front of them three or four times and you're you won't exactly take it, right. sometimes you got to change up. I figure if they weren't hitting the one you're catching, them one would change and it worked on that one. Ate the one it was supposed to eat. Brightly colored baits are so important. But on some days, a chartreuse bait might agitate them more than a white or vice versa. And when you can see it all happening right there before you, it doesn't take very long to figure it out. There we go. I like that chartreuse. That's a pretty nice little fish there. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one there. Come here. Come here. Easy. Well, as you've seen what we're doing, it's just that special first week of June. We've got a full moon that's come, went full just in the last 24 hours. And when that happens and water temperatures get up right now in the low 60s, the mid 60s, them fish are on go. Now, two days ago, we couldn't hardly find a fish on a bed. And that's how quick things can change. So it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's something different. It's kind of nice to be able to call your shot sometime. But not every fish you see are you always going to catch. Important to put them back. And the main thing is, is, is get them back in the water as quick as you can. 
Please remember, release these big smallmouth as soon as you catch them. They are so precious. Did you know that a four pound smallmouth in these shield lakes is probably a 20 year old fish? Just think how valuable that fish is, how long it took him to get that big. You know, if you're wanting to eat fish, my motto is smallmouth are for fighting and fun, and walleyes, that's what's for dinner. <clears throat> Pull it right in front of the camera. <laughs> that camera looks like it's pointing at the dirt. You notice that? Yeah, but that water's three foot deep there. All right. I had the pointing down, that's why we went back. Actually, from here, hopefully it's got her in there. A little male, peeing on the camera guy. I'll go right back in there. Here it comes. There it go. You got it, dude. You got it. Better quality too. Not bad. Took a couple casts. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's yes, a nice it fish. is. Look at that. That's a pretty fish. Got some shoulders to her. Now, she was up there shallow. Sure, wish we had a metal metal stake. I do. Look at that. She is a pork chop. There we go. That old belly on her. That is absolutely beautiful. I'll go right back to you a little bit. I knew I could catch her. That's a, it was a, a small one there, which was a male, and this was the bigger the one with the female. She's a pretty good fish. Come on, come on back here. Come on back here. I'm gonna have to get down on my knees, I guess, for her. Whew, what a pretty fish. You know, there's another bay just around the corner that should be just loaded up. This is probably as much as this one is. I'll tell you what, we're going to go commercial break. We're going to pay some bills. We'll be right back with bed fishing. First big smallies right after this. Outdoors in the heartland. We've been fishing for over 15 years with the people at Canoe Canada Outfitters. Besides smallmouth fishing, they've got excellent walleye fishing, lake trout, some lakes have crappie. They've got lots of outpost cabins. They've always got a cabin open for you. Outdoors in the Heartland has been brought to you by Ford and your quality Ford dealers. Mercury Marine, Motor Guide, Never Stop, Strike King, number one in fishing lures, Triton Boats, we take America fishing. And Gilbreth's Taxidermy, the official taxidermist of Outdoors in the Heartland. See who catches it first? Okay, you lost. <laughs> I love competition. Hey, you want to reel mine in? Yeah. <laughs> that was that was low blow. It's a good little fish, and that fish was up shallow. I'm not certain that white tube's good. Yeah, okay. maybe it is. He's got him on. Oh, let's compare now since we got competition here and we both got fish on. Just a delayed double. I pointed at the fish, told you you catch that. I know, so. I know. 
I'm being cool. You're hurting my feelings. I just hey, you know. you're hurting my feelings. You know what's going on? My thumbs are getting hurt. Look at that. Yeah, I'm pretty fit. We definitely are starting to get bass thumb. Look at this. Mine's bleeding. Now, I'm going to try and talk him into going to lunch. You need lunch tomorrow. So hopefully we're going to go eat lunch. I've been telling you I need to go on a diet. It'll be a good day to start. In fact, i got to pull my pants up. I've lost so much weight. I know we're catching a lot of fish, but I just want to slow it down for a minute and show you that there is a time in the spawning process where they're not going to bite very well. Here's some underwater footage we caught that day of a big female and a male on a bed actually laying and fertilizing the eggs. And when they're in this trance, they're not going to bite anything. And that's actually good, so they can go ahead and make the next generations the smallmouth bass. Here's a deep one here, right here. Some deeper beds like that. And there's a whole bunch of them ahead of us too. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at that pig. Hey, if you want the fishing vacation of your lifetime, you gotta come up here. For Bob Richardson, I'm Larry Woodward, and we'll see you somewhere next week right here, outdoors in the Heartland.